everybody. I just wanted to thank you guys so much. Uh, this weekend we hit 1,000 subscribers on May 25th, 2019. Uh, that is absolutely incredible. It is more than I could have ever imagined. I got Zeta here with me and she's super thankful as well. Also, thank you to everybody that has placed orders on my account using the referral code in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. It does truly mean the world to me. Let's get back to the video. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good everything. Welcome to Tesla's Wild. My name is Colin. I hope you all are having a great day. If you're new to the channel, I'm so glad you found us. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy what you see here, and I hope you stick around for future videos. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. I think we're up to like 612 subscribers. It's just the most amazing thing. You guys are the best. As always, remember there is a timestamp comment pinned below. Colorado doesn't really know what season it is here, so it decided to drop a snowstorm on us and drop like five to six inches. Just to clarify, it is May 21st. It's almost June. Never know with Colorado. Everybody that just planted their gardens is probably pissed. Anyways, I got a request for this in one of my previous videos in the comments, the automatic open trunk and frunk video. What this video is gonna be is how to integrate your Tesla, primarily a Tesla Model 3, with Siri on an iPhone and this amazing app that I've found. So let's dive right in. I'll show you the app and how to set up Siri shortcuts to do various things offered by the app. I made it back home here. It's still pretty snowy. Just for you guys, I'm going to get outside of the vehicle and show you some of these Siri shortcuts that I've set up. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to explore the app that I use. I'll tell you everything about it, its name, what it used to be called, a lot of its cool features, how much it cost, everything like that. Then we'll go into how exactly to set up a Siri shortcut. Finally, we'll go over all of the Siri shortcuts that I have set up for my Tesla Model 3. This is not unique to the Tesla Model 3. I'm certain it will be good for the Y as well when that comes out. A lot of these will be personalized to the 3 because obviously I own a Model 3. Stop jabbering, Colin. Okay, so first of all, as you guys can see on my home screen, the app is called Tesla Remote. It did not always used to be called Tesla Remote. It was called Remote S. If you go into the Apple App Store and search Remote S, it will bring up uh, Remote for Tesla. This is the same exact app. I think just to save space, the display name when it's downloaded on your phone is Tesla Remote, but it is called Remote for Tesla. I did do a little bit of searching and it looks like this is not currently available for Android. I'm so sorry. This may be wrong. I could be totally wrong on that, so don't take my word for gospel. It cost $9.99 to download. In my opinion, absolutely well worth it. It is basically the Tesla app, but better. So let's look at the app. You guys don't need to look at the screen anymore. So we're going to open it up on my home screen there. So this is what you see when you open up the app. When you first download it, I believe it has you create an account and then it syncs directly with your Tesla app and imports all of your vehicle information over. So there's really not a lot that you need to do to set this app up correctly. So on the main screen here, I have all of the layers turned on. As we can see in the upper left here, we have a bunch of the Tesla uh, vehicle controls such as start climate, home link, open the charging port, uh, honking the horn, flashing the lights, all these things. On the right side, we have charging controls at the top. You can set your charge percentage. I have no idea why it's at 96. I think I might have messed that up this morning when I was tired and before I had my coffee. You can also pop the frunk and the trunk there, as well as set the climate temperature. Down at the bottom here, it has some detailed diagnostics on your vehicle. It gives you state of charge your estimated range, your efficiency, the temperature outside, all of that stuff. Also tells you, as it shows here, your current software or firmware, and then your vehicle name. It flashes in between those. The main app is a GPS screen or map. You can turn on breadcrumb tracking, which I think is a really, really cool feature. Basically shows everywhere that you've been, little detailed diagnostics on those locations. So let's look at a pin. It says that at this time I was traveling 71 miles per hour. I had a state of charge of 89%, 275.3 miles. Not really sure what that's for, but this was on May 8th of 19. I haven't reset the tracking for a while. I do need to do that. It says to do that every so often in order to get accurate efficiency readings and better breadcrumb tracking. Let me turn off some of the layers here. Okay. 
So this is what I haven't reset for a while. Obviously, it looks like it's been 3,000 miles since I reset it, but if I were to reset this more often, you would get an efficiency rating up in the upper left here. It's got multiple trips that you can set up here and do some comparisons, but yeah, just a lot of really, really cool diagnostics that you can see about the vehicle and just a lot more detail. Let's get to why you are all here. That is the Siri shortcuts. Let me get into my settings here. I don't know if you've ever used Siri shortcuts, but just in case you haven't, this is where they end up showing up. Second section, and in the third section, you will see Siri and search. And in here, it will show a lot of Siri settings, but at the top, there will be my shortcuts, if you have any, and then suggested shortcuts. When you first download the app, you won't have any shortcuts for this, obviously, so we'll start in the all shortcuts section or suggested shortcuts. They are organized by app. The Tesla remote app shows up, Spark email, and then Tesla remote. So it shows kind of a top three here. I don't know how it picks these top three, but we're gonna go into see all, and see all of the suggested ones. Whew, talking a lot. As you can see, there are a lot of Siri shortcuts that you can set up. I think so far I've got about eight of these, but we'll set one up just to show you guys exactly what you do. Let's do the home link. So all you need to do is hit the plus button right there. And then it brings up this setup screen where it wants you to record a key phrase. Let's do that. I did do home link and I think I'll just be boring with this one and call it home link. I know I'm so original. Let's do that. So we're going to do hit the record button here. Home link. All right. So as we can see, it tells you exactly what you said to it and you can verify. Usually it gives you the option to edit or re-record it, but it looks like it perfectly understood what I said. Home link. So we're just going to call that done. Now that we have that set up, if we go back, we are in the all suggested shortcuts. And then if we go back one more, we'll be back into the Siri and search homepage here where we have my shortcuts up at the top. So let's open up my shortcuts. The Tesla remote app are all I have shortcuts set up for because that's where I find it most useful. I do use these very, very often and they are absolutely phenomenal. They're really, really cool. We did set up the home link shortcut and we can now see that in the list of my shortcuts. So I currently now have nine shortcuts. We have home link, we have sentry mode, we have waking up the car, we have starting it to enable keyless entry, charge it, which opens the charging port, as you guys saw in the last video, we have trunk and frunk, and then we have cool it down, which turns on the max AC, and then we have heat it up, which also turns on the max heat. That's it. That's exactly how you set up Siri shortcuts with the Tesla remote app. As you can see, I have nine of them, and as you guys saw in my last video, they work really well. So let's go and demonstrate a few of these to you. So let's first demonstrate heat it up because it is snowing and cold outside. So let's turn on the max heat uh, inside the vehicle. Heat it up. That's done. Max heat activated. Beautiful. As we can see, the heat is turned on. What else do we want to do? Let's say cool it down. Okay. Max cool activated. And now as we can see, it went from high to low and it's gonna turn on the AC. We're gonna shut that off before it gets too cold here. How about, uh, let's open the charge port here. Charge it. Done. And there charge it goes. Port. Frunk. Done. Activated the frunk. Still works like a charm. Trunk. That's done. Activated the trunk. Also works like a charm. So I don't think I really needed to demonstrate all of these, but <laughs> as you can see, they work really, really well. It's very easy to set up. So the only thing is that you're paying for an app. In the end, I think it's well worth it in order to get these Siri shortcuts set up for you. Let's flip the camera around and close this video up. Right, well, we just got done demonstrating how to set up Siri shortcuts with the Tesla remote app. Honestly, this should just be a feature of the Tesla app itself. It's kind of a shame that it isn't, but uh, maybe they'll get there 
someday. For now, this is a great third-party app that really enables you to do a lot of really cool stuff. I showed you everything about it, what it's called, where to find it, uh, and exactly how to set up the series shortcuts and all of the shortcuts available. There are quite a few as you saw. Obviously ones like uh, vent the roof aren't going to work on a Model 3 because there is no sunroof currently, but maybe in the future we'll see if it gets offered. Anyways, a couple things I want to go over are Make sure to always periodically open and look at uh, the, both the Tesla app as well as the Tesla remote app. I noticed that the longer that you go without looking them, the less and less the Siri shortcuts work. Just because I think the apps aren't running in the background, the Tesla remote app is not always communicating with the vehicle and the longer that you leave it going, it just loses connection with the vehicle and the Siri shortcuts tend to fail. Other than that, also always remember to reset your trip so that you're getting accurate efficiency ratings, you know, accurate breadcrumb and all sorts of things from the app. Those are my only two, you know, caveats. Make sure you do these things. Other than that, it is a phenomenal app. It is well worth your time uh, and well worth your money. And, you know, if you want to have that sort of Siri integration and voice integration hands free with your Tesla, make sure you enable Hey Siri as well as doing the Siri shortcuts with this app. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope it had at least some new information in it. You learned something new today and it was helpful. Yeah. All right. Let's do that again because that was terrible. All right. Well, I hope this video was useful. You guys learned something. It was good. All of the above. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. It does truly mean the world to me. And uh, I think we're up to like 624 subscribers, which is awesome. I think at the beginning of this video, I said something like 612. So it's just phenomenal. You guys are amazing. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. As always, I hope you all had a great day. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I've got a lot of cool stuff coming up for you. So we will see you next time.